Hi everyone. So it's 5.33. I think we will start with the youth session. Um, so we have some speaker online and also some speaker in the room. Uh, Frances, if you can hear me, can you say uh, something so we ensure that uh, we can get you? Please say it again. Can you please try again, Frances? Can you hear me, Frances? Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm doing two t uh, things at the same time. Tell me. Okay, we can get you now. Yeah. So, okay, now yeah. we can get me. Perfect. The floor is yours. Please go ahead. Okay, the floor is mine. Uh, well, hello everyone. Uh, so far so long, I believe that we are like uh, a bunch of people. By a bunch, I mean a number of uh, people that are at least more than one. And um, well, uh, apparently uh, we are coming back from the group picture and apparently there is not um, a big... Uh, There is not a big audience here. Uh, so, as you know, this is a half an hour that we have to talk about uh, experiences on young Wikimedians. And we are waiting also to our key speakers to, to be here so we can hear them. So basically we will do, what we will be doing here is some kind of mixed session. As you know, we previously had a meetup and a, a roundup uh, session to talk about topics. And uh, we will continue that uh, meetup. We will um, do an informal session, but we will of course um, get into the topics that were um, originally planned. So uh, I'm inviting to our on-site speakers to please show up on the screen because unfortunately I can't see them to be on the front line of the session so we can speak with them. And in the meanwhile, what we're going to do is to talk a little bit about, uh, about Wikivibrance. I will introduce uh, ourselves. My name is Francesc Ford, I'm from Valencia. And here also in the virtual room, we have Ufemio Wandu, who is from Southeast Nigeria. And uh, she's the founder of, of Wikivibrance. This started a couple of years ago when we were on the biggest moment of the virtual events. And we had an idea to have, or I must say that she had an idea of having a meeting of young Wikimedians to talk about ourselves, our situations, or, well, I, I should speak in second person because uh, I believe that I'm not longer that young, but, uh, you know, how it is to be a young Wikimedian as I once was, and what, which are the, um, the topics or the, the issues that you can face. And, and this is how an initiative was born. This initiative has been running for two years now. We have done plenty of activities. We remind you that right now we have two running activities. One is the International Yao Day campaign, where we invite to create articles and also to celebrate uh, our community by recognizing those Wikimedians who are important to us. We can create an article and share it on, on social networks and uh, ping uh, our pal or that person that we want to recognize because of their work. And also we have a campaign running since yesterday and that will be up uh, the 30th of September about cosplay. You know, cosplay is that, um, is that activity that um, urban culture that is about uh, people who disguise themselves as uh, cartoon characters. We know that uh, Dodi, who was the person who inspired that um, that idea, I met him in the EduWiki conference. Uh, he is here, he will have his uh, a session about the topic. 
And also we know that in the very same hotel that you are there, there is a comics convention. We invite you to go there to take pictures because that way you can participate in our, in our, in our, um, in our contest. So uh, we have prepared three, uh, three awards of 300 euros each. And I believe that this is a good opportunity to share uh, share urban culture in Wikimedia by, you know, by having fun and by, you know, by expanding also the, the kind of topics that uh, Wikimedia activities have. With that introduction being made, uh, I believe that we can go now to, uh, as I said before, this format will be some kind of mixtures of the round table and the, you know, the meetup and the originally designed the session. I will open the mic to some of the people that we've able to meet during those uh, now years that we have been working on, on Wikivibrance. And the thing is that unfortunately I can't see your faces, those who are on site. Even can you please say hello? And otherwise that's not a problem because in our virtual room here we have our Romeo. You might know him, he's from South Sudan. He has been a very active Wikimedian um, lately. So I will open the mic and I will say, hello, Romeo, how are you? Hello, Francesc, how are you? I'm doing amazing. If you are doing amazing, then everyone here is doing amazing. And uh, well, um, I believe that the, the thing is that we should, uh, we could now uh, let you introduce yourself, you know, who you are and what you came here to, to do. Uh, very good. Uh, my name is Romeo and I come from uh, the Wikimedia Community User Group here in South Sudan. And um, actually, I have come here to be able to share a challenge that resonated deeply, to, uh, deeply with many of us, the challenge of sustaining motivation and fostering long-term engagement among us actually youth contributors, which I am one of them. So I'm going to share about my personal experience and the support of the Wikimedians who have been with me. And to be able to recognize the significance of this challenge and how we can be able to address it. And um, yeah, very excited uh, to be able to be part of this. Great, Romeo. Nice to have you here. I see that we have more of our folks here. We have also Nada Alfarra. So Nada, nice to see you. And please uh, let you, well, I will let you introduce yourself. Hi, Nada. Can you hear us? Hi. Okay, yes. Um, can you hear me? Yes, okay. of course. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, this is uh, a weird uh, session and setup, but it's fine. My name is uh, Nada Farra. Uh, I'm from uh, Palestine and uh, I'm um, also uh, known uh, under uh, a Wikimedia name, Nada Karim 20. Two, and uh, I'm a member of the leadership development working group. Uh, I used uh, to organize, um, not used, I'm still organizing sessions, <laughs> uh, editing sessions, um, and uh, I'm here to talk about the struggles I faced in uh, the movement like uh, any other youth. Um, it's not uh, easy to be young in the movement and uh, to be a newcomer and to be identified as uh, the newbie or uh, the one who lacks experience or the one who needs guidance and uh, the one who needs micromanagement. And no, you don't need micromanagement, but you need guidance. Uh, and I hope you enjoy our session. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Nada. And last but not the least, we have also here August. Uh, hello, August. Can you turn on your mic and share a little bit of yourself to the audience? Hello, everyone. My name is August. I am from Indonesia. So I am from Wikim Indonesia. Uh, uh, one of the challenges that I have is just actually I just want to make a clarification based on Indonesian standard. I'm not young anymore after 25. So in Indonesia, when we are after 25, we are aspiring. So 
So for today, I'm not young. Maybe yesterday I was still young <laughs> because I my birthday was today. <laughs> so the challenge for being a young person is like you have no voice. Every young person always to be the person that was voiceless, like say, you are too young, you have no clarification or something like that. When I start editing in Wikipedia, everyone kind of explain this like, your article was taken down because you, you are just newcomer, you doesn't know anything, you doesn't know the rule, but the person in there doesn't give us any reminder or something, they just taken down, it's just like we need to know everything about the Wikipedia. So that's why after I done become the administrator, I take the, I take the change that I angry with the person was taking the article that they deleted when they deleted the newcomers. So if you deleted every article that comes, so who you want it? Who you wanted to continue your step? Your step, you're gonna die someday, right? <laughs> so I hope that everyone feels that we are young, we have a voice, so please continue this step and I hope you can continue this. Don't take mine of them. Sometimes they will go. Thank you. Thanks, Agus, for both your um, for your introduction and for going to the point, which is, uh, of course, the struggles. Uh, the, you know, the barriers that the Wikipedia movement has, this is something that we know because it has been widely spoken, uh, many barriers, especially when it comes to the, all the, the gender biases that we have had, but there is also barriers that affect to young people. Now that we have heard one of the people that we have on site, we will switch to our friend here in the, in the remote room. So, Romeo, how do you feel about... I mean, your, what has been your experience? There are barriers for young people and their participation into the movement. Sorry, I didn't get you very well. Could you repeat that a little bit? Yes, I was asking you specifically for the barriers that you feel that exist in the, if you feel that there have been barriers in the Wikimedia movement and you, the participation of young people. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, from my end, I would love to speak this from my perspective and, of course, also the people that I've been able to train. Um, the barrier that I've been able to see so much is actually been the, 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 the issue around, you know, la nurturing long-term engagement. So we have this kind of curve that starts on a very high note for every new Wikimedian. So just like me, when I started uh, to do Wikimedia related programs, I was very, very, very excited that I came with a lot of energy in the beginning. And my energy reached a point whereby I began experiencing things around, you know, burnout, you know, juggling time constraints, shifting priorities as well. And these whole things were not able to sustain my energy to continue on. So there was a point at which I was able to face my, uh, my, 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 my burnout, actually not even burnout, but actually I reached a point whereby I could no longer sustain my engagement because of a few other problems that probably even our, our colleague who has an amazing birthday today mentioned, you know, things connected to uh, your article being deleted, things containing to IP blocking, things containing to young people being able to juggle within uh, commitments, you know, others are in school, others at workplace. I live in a community here in South Sudan where almost everyone is busy. So that, that situation whereby I cannot or anybody cannot be able to juggle or be able to sustain that excitement they get in the first time of coming to the Wikimedia community is a very, very huge challenge that I've been able to see within myself but also within the people that I've trained uh, and stuff. But I guess as we continue the conversation, we are going to see some of the things on how uh, we're able to fix this. But yes, concerning the barrier, yes, that's a barrier I've been able to see very evident uh, that affected me and um, some of the people that I've also been able to deal with within my community. Yes, Francis. Cool, Romeo, thanks for, for sharing your experience. And to finalize with that, uh, with this uh, very first um, somehow introductory um, part of the of the talk, we will go to Nada, who is on site. Hello, Nada, can you hear us? And please, can you share your previously talk about 
being leveled as uh, somebody who needed guidance, who needed help. Uh, can you perhaps uh, explain a little more, Lipa, which has been your experience uh, as a young Wikimedian? Um, I actually needed guidance, uh, but um, I also, I got this from uh, Wikimedian friends, but um, not from the affiliate. I used to be a member of that affiliate. Um, the lack of guidance I had um, had um, jeopardized my uh, presence. They um, had a job application uh, for a coordinator. I applied <laughs> for that job, did the tasks, and uh, but I didn't know that uh, there is uh, a relationship between another applicant and um, one of the hiring committee members. So um, I ended up with not getting the job and um, I didn't know much about this until later. Uh, but um, what is good about Wikimedia that it always, uh, it always gives you more. It gives you friends, it uh, gives you experience, skills that you would never gain if you haven't been a member of this movement. And uh, this is what uh, guide me to the leadership development working group where I um, really got the support or the community that I strive to be in. So, um, I remember when I first joined uh, Wikimedia, I spent about four months not knowing what people are doing, what they are talking about, what's the affiliates, what's, uh, uh, what is the movement, what's the community, <laughs> etc. And uh, no one actually, and this is uh, the thing that we focused in our leadership uh, development work about, which is uh, how to pass on knowledge how to let people know the um, challenges that you went through and how to overcome them, how to document the knowledge that you gained through years. And um, this actually helped me a lot. I'm better now, I'm at, uh, at uh, my first Wikimania. And um, I hope I get more knowledge and um, this is my story and my struggle and uh, it will not be the last one <laughs> because it's um, life eventually. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Nada, it has been a very insightful, insightful testimony. Uh, all of you have pointed at things because all of you had uh, difficulties, but you also somehow drove so, so, some solutions. There are people who became admin, there are people who got involved into committees. Uh, Romy also talked about the burnout. We have now 10 minutes left, approx. I don't know if we can get a little bit more. Uh, I can see the people in the room, if they can send me some signs. But uh, I mean, as I said before, we want this to make a mix between a, a meeting and a session that originally we had. So this is an open question for anyone. So uh, anyone who has an answer can raise their hand if they are on site or virtually here, because I will, I will see them. And my question, which is open, is, okay, there are struggles for young people, but there are also support in networks for, for young people. Or if that question seems a little bit weird, uh, we can also translate it as which strategies have uh, newbies or young people or newcomers, whatever, to deal with the difficulties that uh, they face as uh, as Wikimedia editors or part of the Wikimedia community. I don't know if anyone has any idea on the... Okay, I see a right hand outside, so go ahead. Uh, Someone go gave ahead. me the mic, sir. Thank you. Um, so my name is Mathilde and I'm a pro uh, education project manager at Wikimedia France. And I'm... Um... Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm um, engaging uh, kids like mostly teachers with their kids 
uh, on uh, on Wikidia because it's way easier uh, for them to navigate through it because the the editors they are way younger and uh, I don't know if any of you in the in this room knows about Wikidia by raising your hands. Okay, okay, good. Uh, for the who, for those who don't know anything about Wikidia, it's pretty much the same as Wikipedia, but for kids, uh, teenagers, and uh, it's uh, it's like it's, it's uh, it seems to be more welcoming for for newbies, basically. I don't know if like, uh, however, it's not really connected to the movement yet, uh, but we're working on it. And it's, so it's it's more of a um, like a zone for people to practice, like like to edit, and that's pretty much it. Vikidia, V I K I D I A. Here you go. Uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, all right, there is anyone else who wants to to speak? I will give you some time. I see even with the mic. In the so meanwhile, I say Rafi. that it's a very interesting experience. So we have Rafi. Okay, Rafi, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I lead a team of uh, young Wikimedians here, there in my country, and I also train them. Okay, so uh, the story is another share that what we are doing, what are affiliates, and what are this movement, what is this movement? Just we are doing on Wiki edits. So I, uh, I myself has uh, prepared a training program where at the very first I teach them uh, the Onuki editing. I introduce them to Wikipedia and editing. And then another training program, a little bit advanced, where I t uh, tell them what is uh, the fundings in the movement, what is the Wikimedia Foundation, and what are the affiliate structures, how it works, and a lot. So there. Are some some structures what uh, they are really helpful to train newcomers and newcomers also find them helpful like the uh, wikipedia adventure i use it a lot and the newcomers really enjoy it like uh, the trainers don't need to like uh, need so much headache to like teach them all the basics of the wikipedia editing and uh, there are very few tools in wikidata and 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 some other process but they are so much spread they are not like uh, put uh, together and the Wikilearn platform uh, seems to be very potential but there's not uh, that much uh, like how do I say advanced course like very much uh, helpful course that can be completely focused on uh, newcomers or youth comedians yet so we are planning to work on that now so what I can say is uh, for the newcomers or the youths there isn't enough resources yet but the wikipedia adventure and some other few resources are helpful so that's it for me thanks rafi but i, I believe that we are giving too many open questions now that i mean we need answers which resources do young people need in order to to do this uh, journey i don't know if any of our uh, key speakers, if Romeo, if Agus, if Nada had an answer, or otherwise if somebody in the audience has a, an answer of the kind of resources they would like to have available. Um, so we have, someone from, we have someone from the audience. Uh, I have a question. Okay, okay, uh, okay go ahead. He, uh, she has a question, probably uh, right after we answer the question that you gave, then she'll give a question. So anyone? Uh, we have Nada. Okay, great, Nada, thanks. So if there is a um, resource, a um, practical one to share, uh, it's uh, Let's Connect, actually. Uh, it's uh, the main resource for uh, a lot of knowledge um, and it tackles issues that uh, other projects only talk about editing. No one is talking about how to manage projects, how to be a leader, how to document, and uh, let's connect, manage to fill this gap. And uh, I don't know if uh, each um, affiliate has uh, something internal to um, have or uh, some internal resources, but uh, for the whole movement, I believe it's let's connect if I have something to share.
Thanks, Nada. Thanks, it's, Nada. it's very important, it's important uh, uh, to talk about Let's Connect because they are doing a great job. Uh, now that uh, I believe that we have uh, a, a question on the audience side. Um, so you, oh, so okay. we have one more answer from Ceslaus. Perfect. We can hear Ceslaus and then we go to the question. Thank Hi, you. Hi, hi, Francesc. Uh, nice to see you guys remotely. Hi, Femia. So, uh, when we talk about resources, it's easy not to, you know, recognize the privileges that could exist, you know, and privileges that probably don't exist in some parts of the world. Resources could be internet for us in Africa. It could be electricity. So when she mentioned Vikidia, you might not remember me. I'm Tesla from Wiki Africa Hour. So how Vikidia functions is, uh, especially for Wiki Challenge, a quarter freak. So we uh, use Wikifundi software, which enables offline editing, and then uh, Raspberry Pi server, which is very mobile, and then uh, Power Bank, you know, to enable these kids in rural areas, in I think nine Francophone countries now, to be able to contribute to Wikidia. So if you talk about resources, I think when we say let's connect, that's rich. Sincerely, that's rich. So how about we ensure that, you know, I hate to say it, but then mostly those uh, young people from Global South who probably don't have a job and can't easily buy internet subscription for themselves. How about electricity and how many hubs are out there that could give our young persons access? I mean, one thing I love about this place is you could just stand in front and tap from the free Wi-Fi. We don't have those in most parts in, let's say, Africa, for instance, right? So we, we need to amplify the discussion. I mean, these are things that they should have before even coming to Let's Connect, <laughs> you know? So... Oh, of course, that's 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 part of it, you know. But then I, I I would love us to have a broader view of what resources mean. I am the Wikimedia in Residence for African Knowledge Initiative, and we ran a survey uh, through the Africa Environment Campaign precisely. And there are things we've overlooked or we've been overlooking when we talk about resources. How many young people could afford a smartphone to edit? How many young people could afford a tablet you know and this is why i'm so you know huge a fan of the wikidia and the wiki challenge because uh fondation orange uh has been gracious enough to you know give tablets to enable these kids to make these contributions so we need to think of resources that would enable these young people to onboard to our platforms to our projects to our programs thank you Thank you very much. Uh, um, so, Francesc, we have Ruby who wants to add something on this. Perfect. Sorry. Um, my name is Ruby from Ghana. So just to add to what Womia was talking about, um, I manage a community um, from Open Foundation West Africa, and we also work with young people in schools, universities, and hub. And we realized that um, one way that young people can grow or be active or sustain in the community is consistency. Um, because one-time training doesn't work. And if you're working with young people in universities, young people in those different places, they need people in those places to continually support them. So one of the ways that we've done that is by establishing clubs. And we are able to support the clubs by um, having leaders for instance, club leaders or hub leaders uh, who organize events. And also they try to get a, a place where they consistently meet, let's say once in a month or something like that, where we also pro provide them with internet data and also refreshment for their, their activities all the time because young people get hungry i mean like everybody gets hungry but it's more encouraging to provide some sort of like um in incentives like food you know refreshments that encourage so we, we realize that in the universities that they, they show up a lot because they get food to eat and and i put myself in in their shoes if i 
when I was in the university and there was an event that has food, I will be there. And so these are, <laughs> so these are the ways that has really helped us to, you know, try to motivate them, their participation in those places. But one, one other thing that we're also seeing as a challenge is the fact that um, devices, because some of them don't have devices. So our hub leaders reach out to us like they need devices and we also don't have enough devices to supply them. So we're looking at partnerships that can support us with devices because we know of we know that some organizations donate computers, but where are they? Where can we find them? So these are some of the support that we need um, as a collaborative um, community. If someone have those kind of com connections, these are the real connections that we're looking out for to have. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Ruby. I believe that we have now one minute left. So I hope that uh, there's anybody else who wants to speak because otherwise we we will be really bad in time. Uh, well, first of all, thank you very much to everyone who has been here. And also I wanted some conclusions for today. Uh, I believe that even if we haven't been able to to have a proper, you know, uh, we lacked more time to um, to dive into all the topics that we need to dive. I believe that this uh, session has been a great uh, a great excuse to meet us, to to connect all together, and to think about all the problems that we have. And you know, I mean, here we have people on on site and virtually. Uh, we can use the virtual tools to connect to meet uh, all the people here who are interested on in the participation of young people in the movement and to start building things because we've taken notes of uh, all the difficulties that exist, all the solutions that some of you have uh, been given and, and it's great to know the, the local experiences. Also the, the different tools like Wikidia that can be used also in this journey. So please uh, keep us in mind, uh, keep ourselves in our agendas and uh, and that's it a little bit so enjoy the rest of the conference and of course don't forget that we have two wiki vibrance activities right now running and that uh, i mean we hope that everyone can participate on their on the behalf of their possibilities so thank you very much and and that's it Thank you so much, Frances. So before we uh, round it up, I wanted to mention that we we are on Meta. We have the uh, Meta, our well, Meta page is the Wiki Vibrance project. So when you go into Meta, you can um, join our social media channels where we could continue the discussion. We could uh, discuss as youth to uh, so that uh, we come into uh, a clear understanding and uh, concerns for how uh, we as youth particip participated in the Wikimedia movement. So thank you everyone and I wish you all the best. Thank you.